let's take a walk around uh, Saigon Central Post Office. Now, this is a landmark building um, dating back to the 19th century, built by the French when they were occupying Saigon. So as you walk in, uh, this is the lobby area. Now, this is a fully working post office, so it's free to come in. You tend to find all tourists here. The only um, local people are the people who are working either at the stalls or behind the counters at the post office. It is a real tourist trap. So these are the counters where you can mail your uh, postcards or any other mail that you want to send. This is a place where you can sit and write your postcards. You can see these ladies are uh, writing their postcards. There's a stall where you can buy the postcards. Uh, the one on the left, they had quite a limited amount of postcards. Uh, they were not that impressive. Uh, the postcards start from about, uh, I think, 25,000 dong, which is just over a pound or one, just over $1.50. This was quite a nice postcard. I was tempted to buy that one. There's the price of the postcard. And then just opposite, there is another shop uh, which sells. They've got a much bigger collection of uh, postcards from all different sizes as well. Prices again were round about the same, but they have a much larger collection. Prices to post uh, would vary on the country you're sending it to, so uh, I have no idea what it would cost to send a postcard to your own country. That's something you'd have to ask once you get to the counter. These are private uh, writing booths. Uh, not quite sure um, if anyone used them. I didn't see anyone actually go inside and use them. The, most people were just um, standing outside or standing with the door open taking pictures. And here you can see somebody posing outside the booth. As you walk in on your left and right, there are these stairs which take you up just to a slightly higher level where they have uh, all the um, things you can buy for memorabilia. The things that are, they were selling here were no different to anything else which you can buy anywhere else in the city, but the prices are a lot more expensive. They're three to five times uh, as expensive as you would buy from Benton Market or anywhere else. Uh, you might find there in um, in the city. If you actually wanted to buy something and you just wanted to have that, um, that you've bought it from the post office, you can buy it from here, but I would recommend you buy it from somewhere else uh, unless you want to pay three to five times the price. Uh, for example, the hats here, uh, they were, um, I think, four times the price uh, as they were in Benton Market. 
uh, and they're exactly the same. There's no difference in terms of quality. Uh, they probably come from the same um, factory. So I would suggest buying it um, from somewhere else. There's nothing here that you can buy which is any different. This was quite interesting. It was a, a, a folder or a, a full of um, money, old money. You can also buy old stamps. I think one of the reasons people may want to buy something from here because they will think it's more genuine, it's not fake, but as I said earlier, there's nothing here that you cannot buy anywhere else. And I don't know if that money is going to be genuine money that is legal tender. You are not allowed to go any further than the, the ground floor. So I don't know what is upstairs, it may be offices. But as on the left, just as you walk out on your uh, right hand side, the cathedral is just there. So you can pop into the cathedral right after the uh, Saigon uh, post office. <laughs> 